Patty. Patty. Hello. Patty. 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 Hey. <laughs> so the story of how I got Bachi is kind of a bittersweet one and I can't help but feel a little emotional whenever telling it so if I do seem to tear up a little through this little story well let's just pretend that I've been cutting onions um, actually hang on onion <laughs> so for my 17th birthday I really wanted a kitten and I kept hinting at it until my mom gave in and we all hopped into the car and went to the nearest shelter to get two kittens one for myself and one for my brother now I didn't want just any kitten, I really wanted a ginger kitten and I'm not really sure why but to this day I still find ginger kittens just the cutest thing so that was just probably the main reason, don't need to look any further. Meet Nori G aka Gigi, the cutest little bundle in the world. Now over the course of my life and existence, I've had quite a few pets pass away and it's always, always hard from, for some more than others but when Gigi passed away, it, it really broke my heart. It does happen more often than you think, especially with shelter kittens and Gigi had gotten sick while I was away at my dad's and he passed away about a week after I got him. My mom asked me pretty soon after if I wanted to try again with a new kitten and I wasn't sure because of how bad it still hurt but turns out one of our neighbors was getting ready to get rid of a litter of kittens and we managed to save two of them, one of them being Pachi. I named the kittens Gaxen and Kinpachi no clue why, just don't ask me, but I was deep into my manga phase. But I have a feeling Kinpachi comes from Kenpachi, that character from Bleach. Somehow, some strange variation of that. So when it was time for one of the two kittens to go to their new home, I chose Kinpachi for his stripes, even though I did get along a little better with Gaku but it seems that fate must have protected me from yet another heartbreak because we later learned that Gaku had passed away from the same illness that Gigi had gotten but he wasn't doing so well himself but he survived and he still has a very sensitive stomach from it to this day so yes, a very sad story I'm sorry I got choked up a few times during me telling it to you guys it's not an easy thing i'm very sensitive when it comes to animals and pets and animal suffering but through all of it i got patchy in the end and i couldn't live without him today he he's family he's the best dumb cat anyone could ask for and it's been 10 years so happy birthday he's over there lying on the floor <laughs> being gloomy uh, happy birthday, Patsy, and thank you for choosing me to be with. How do I choose? Oh my gosh, there's so many things I love. His, the way he meows when I call him, um, his purr, the way he claims in the bed with me at night, when he waits for me to come out of the bathroom right next to the door, how he seems loyal even though he's a cat, like he seems genuinely attached to me even though it might just be about food, I don't know, but he follows me everywhere like a little shadow. Uh, yeah, the way he looks, the way he plays with his toys or tries to catch his tail, the way he just rolls around on his back exposing his big pillowy fluffy tummy 
there's no way I can choose. <laughs> Um, there are a few, there are definitely things that really bother me about Bachi. The way that if he's not getting the food he wants immediately or the attention he wants immediately, he'll go scratch in his litter box literally for like 50 minutes. Just scratching and scratching and it drives me crazy because sometimes it happens around 2 or 3 in the morning. Which is just not right. <laughs> so probably my least favorite thing because I have emetophobia, which is phobia of vomit, is when I have to clean up his puke. Because of his sensitive stomach, he gets sick quite a lot. So every time I give him food in the morning, I do a little silent prayer to the bow gods. That sounds weird. But yeah, I really hate cleaning up puke. I would love to get another cat. I think that she sometimes might seem a little bored. I don't know if he's fine being an only cat, if he'd be the jealous kind, or if he would actually be okay with a little friend. But this apartment is really, really small. So for one, I don't know if it would be comfortable for two cats to have to cohabitate here. Uh, it would just be uncomfortable for me too, I think, to handle two cats in this small space. Petchy is handful enough. And also, if they do not get along, it would be a nightmare to try and separate them. So, so I do want another cat. I still want to have a ginger cat, but not at the current time. No, unfortunately. Okay, so right now Pachi is not in the best mood. He's hiding from me behind the curtain. So I'm gonna leave him be. Maybe it's not the best day to give him his presents, but I can go out and buy them. So for one thing, I'm gonna buy the good dry cat food. The one he has now is decent, but it's more like, uh, we have to be careful this month. So we're both of us gonna eat a lot of very simple, meals at the moment so i'm gonna go to the to the actual pet store the pet supply store and buy the expensive shit also i want to buy some wet food for him to enjoy he usually throws them up but he loves them so much that you know what i'm willing to clean up some disgusting soppy cat fishy vomit if he can enjoy a few mouthfuls of them. I am gonna try and find some good quality one also at the pet store. Maybe the same brand the same brand who does the um, the dry food that I usually get for him. They also do some wet food, but we'll see if they have it. And I also want to buy him a new toy because he doesn't play that much, but he do ha he does have a few favorites. Let me see if I can find them. He loves the balls, uh, the little loud balls, but he usually manages to lose them under the furniture. But one he really likes at the moment is this one, and he's had it for a while. As you can see, it's covered in hair, my hair, his hair, and dust. Ugh. But he likes it because it's got he can like really dig his claws into there and scratch it and yeah it's had a good life i haven't found anything quite like it so i'm gonna try and find him a little toy i hope you're done sulking by the time i come back mister probably not we might have to wait another day until he can get his birthday present okay Good night.
Okay, I'm back from the little shopping thing. I feel like my face has totally melted off. It's so hot outside. Okay, let me show you what I got real quick. So, like I said, dry food. Got the oily fish one. I don't know if he likes the oily fish or the beef one, but I know when it comes to treats, he, like the he likes the fishy ones the most. He goes crazy for the fish. So I got this one. It's a good brand, it's expensive. Uh, obviously there are better brands and more expensive brands but this this will do this is nice I think we'll be happy with that he'll probably start eating this tonight so I can mix it with whatever's left of his old uh, food so it's not like too much of a shock for his little belly so I've got a big old boy here I got this little jelly pack of tuna yeah I'm pretty sure Tuna is one of his favorites. I think red tuna is one of his ultimate treats, which is probably the worst for his stomach. So this is what he's gonna get. I'll go little by little with this in case he throws everything up because uh, dry food is already a pain to clean, like dry food throw up. This is disgusting. I know, believe me, I've done it a few times. And as a toy, I got this little guy. Um, it's kind of cute. I don't like when they look too much like animals, even though there's no way he's gonna like run after a bird up a, <laughs> up here. But yeah, I bought it because it's the same texture. Let me show you here. Come on, this one. There you go. The same texture as this other one. The only thing is that I'm gonna have to take this off, I think. I'm gonna have to snip it off because there's a good chance that he'll end up eating it and swallowing it and then throwing it back up like a fur ball. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I guess it's like supervised play, but I just leave it around for him and he plays around with it. So I think he'll be really happy with that. You also saw me make a little crown for him, but I think that's not gonna work. He hated the sight of it. When I went close to him, he was just like, get the that thing away from me. And I think it's the glue. I smelled it and I, I can't smell the glue, but I guess he's smelling something I can't smell. So much for that. <laughs> okay. Time to celebrate. Do you wish that? Do you wish that? This crown is such a fail. Mm. A bit of treats in his little game pot. Here's a mix of his old and new food, and I'm gonna give him some of that and his treat uh, and his gift pretty soon. And then this damn crown that he didn't really didn't want, so I'm not gonna force it on him. Now he's like waiting for his food, wondering what's going on. He's super suspicious. Ah, yellow. He knows it's for him. Ooh, this smells. Let's start with this little sliver. Un pâté. Un pâté. You wanna sing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patty. Happy birthday to you. You're 10 years old. Who's a big boy now? You're a big man. Why are you so suspicious of me today? He senses something is up and he doesn't know if it's good or bad, so he's being super suspicious. So I'm trying to leave him alone and I'm going to hide his treats for him to find when he's ready. Like, he's looking at me like so suspicious. These are for when you want them, honey boo boo. 
and when you want some dry food, it's where you usually have it. I hope he's enjoying his wet food also and not being a suspicious little one. Hmm? I'm staying away. I don't know what's wrong with you today. You've been all in a weird mood. <laughs> and I guess I'll wait to give him his toy. Maybe he's just afraid of that damn crown. <laughs> put this away where he can't see it anymore smells of catnip oh 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 il est parti où il est tombé I'll just send it over, over there. Huh? Do you miss that? Oh, we. Oui. Oh, we oui, miss that. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Il est où le noiseau? Maybe he just doesn't like the camera. <laughs> Te laisse tranquille? And just see his tail flapping about back there. Yeah. Yeah, love. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>